Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Tableau scenario based question which were asked to me in one of the top product based company. Okay, so without wasting any further time, let's move to the questions. The first question is how we can replace blank value with the zero. Now first let's discuss the question. We have the month with subcategory and for this we have the profit. Okay, and if you look at this for the copier in the fab month, we don't have any value. So also we don't know if it is null or it is blank. Okay, so how we can check that for this we can create a calculated field and use our ZN function. So what ZN function will do is it will replace the null value with the zero. Okay, so if we have null here, it will automatically replace it with zero. So let's do that and we have created the field. Let's drag it here. If you look at this, it is still blank, means it is not null, it is blank. Okay, so how we can replace the blank with the zero? For this, we have to create the calculator field and use our lookup function. Okay, so what lookup function will do is if you have used that, it will return the next value or maybe last value to compare the value with the current. Okay, so for this, we use our sum of profit. Okay, and uh, for this, we'll use its feature that is offset. In offset, we generally specify one used to compare with the next value and minus one used to compare with the previous value. Okay, and same for minus minus two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, but here we are going to use the zero because zero is like not defined value for the offset offset start with one or minus one okay zero means it is comparing the value with the same value okay and if you read the description of the lookup okay it will return the null if the target row cannot be determined okay now just click on okay and if you add this you still get the blank but as we know the property of the lookup it will add the null if the target row is cannot be determined okay so we know we have added the null here after that we have to replace the null with the zero okay so for this we use again use our zn function and convert the null with the zero and just click on apply and if i remove this and if you look at this the zero is added here let me remove the profit now you can see we have added the zero in the data okay this is how you can solve this problem now let's move to the question two question two is how to highlight min and max value in a table okay let's take the example of similar question let me just duplicate it okay if you look at this we have multiple values for every subcategory in each month okay but user wants only the minimum value and the maximum value from this table okay from this table so how we can do that for this we can create a calculated field and use our logic if sum of profit is equal to here we'll use our window max function then max value else if sum of profit is equal to window min and then sum of profit then min value else others and then and our calculation okay so what window min and max function will do is window as the name suggested it will check out the max value from the whole data that is present in the view and same for window min function it is also used to check out the minimum value from the data that is present in the view so we are comparing the max value with if this condition is satisfied we find the minimum value here and the minimum value here then it will return minimum value if we find the max value here and the max value that is determined by the window max function then it will give the 
max value and all will be in others okay and then just click on okay and now what we are going to do is we are going to add this into the color okay and let me do some formatting and add the color for the max value i need green color for the minimum value i need red color and for others i need gray color okay but the problem here is if you look at this we are getting min and max value for every subcategory okay if you look at accessories we have the lowest value in the zen and max value in the de december and same for app appliances art binders okay so how we can find out the min and max value from the table okay for there is one interesting and beautiful feature of the tableau that is compute using okay what tableau will do by default is it will check out the value that is table across so it will go and check out the value table across okay and give the result and same for others as well so it will go here and give the result it will go here and give the result but what we need is from the whole table so what we are going to do is we are going to use table across then down or table down then across okay both will work here so we are giving the instruction for tableau like go to the across then go to the down then go to the across and go to the down until we'll find our result okay so from this f if you look at this we get the maximum value that is 15000 and the minimum value that is 4528 okay so this is how you can find out mean and max value from the table that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos